I made a trailer for a TV series using a 100% AI generated video. In that process, I learned a lot about illustrating my ideas using Midjourney and animating the story using AI video. Here's the full process and all the tools that I used. Make sure to check the description for all the links. The first thing I needed to do was to come up with a story for my TV series. The basic idea I had was that I wanted something futuristic and dystopian like in Blade Runner, but with some anime themes in it. So I went to ChatGPT and asked for it to come up with a script and storyboard for a 30 second movie trailer about samurai in a dystopian future. It gave me a title and setting with characters and a series of scenes. There's an intense opening shot of the dystopian city and evil soldiers running around. The main character, Ryu, appears and there's a flashback to previous times. And finally, a confrontation with the main villain. It's not a bad story, but I added my own twist to it. In ChatGPT's story, the flashback shows cryptic images and fragments of memories. I decided to show the main character as a child. Coming back home and seeing that his family had been tragically killed, setting him on a journey for revenge. Once I got the main script down, I started to generate the images that I would later use as references for my AI video using Midjourney. To get continuity in your images and have them follow the same theme and genre, it's important to use the base prompt. I tried a few different ones out there, and here's what I settled on. The first couple keywords of Japan Punk, Dystopian, and Samurai Core are the style keywords. I wanted purple and blue to replicate this scene I liked from the Blade Runner movie and vintage color tones and sing still camera film to bring out that old school vibe. Finally, this was a widescreen video, so I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. With the base prompt done, all you need to do is fill in the subject matter at the front of the prompt. Here's an image generated of mech soldiers and a girl with cherry blossoms. All the images generated using the base prompt will share the same neon dystopian themes and fit together nicely. For each scene, I created one or two shots, like soldiers marching in the intro or the final boss dragon. The only shots I didn't use my base prompt for were the flashback scenes to the main character's childhood to give them brighter, happier colors. Now, Mid Journey does have its limitations. Originally, I wanted to include this shot of a hand holding a mythical object being given to the main character. It was surprising how much of a hard time Mid Journey had with this particular prompt and generating a close up shot of a normal looking hand holding something. I tried creating variations and in painting, but in the interest of time, decided to scrap this shot from the trailer. To animate my mid-journey images into video, I use PikaLabs, which is a free AI video generator accessed through Discord. Now for most of the shots, I use the anime feature in PikaLabs to let the AI animate the video without entering my own prompt and see what it came up with. And the results turn out really well. To do so, inside the direct message with the PikaBot, type slash animate into the Discord message. And in the pop-up interface, upload an image to animate into a video. Here's an example of an image of a dragon. Press enter to generate the video. The animation has some nice movement and the background is coherent between frames. I added in my own prompt for a couple of them where I needed specific movement. To turn this image into a video of soldiers marching, upload the image into the Discord bot using the animate command. Click on the one more button and select prompt from the pop-up menu. Then in the box it says prompt, typing soldiers marching. We can introduce additional camera movement to get more cinematic shots by using the dash camera parameter inside our prompt. This time, I'll upload an image of a boy flying his kite. And inside the prompt, ask for a boy flying his kite, dash camera, pan up left. The video generated will move the camera diagonally upwards. The dash camera parameter is an extremely powerful tool and comes with the options to zoom in, zoom out, pan in multiple directions, pan in combined directions, and rotate. Here's an intense camera shot rotating clockwise. The last parameter I used is a dash motion parameter. It's a value between 0 to 4 with a default value being 1. And it controls the amount of motion generated in your video. Here's an animation generated of some soldiers with the prompt dash camera pan right. It had too much wiggle in it and I wanted something a little slower. So I generated the same animation but added dash motion 0 to the end of the prompt and the motions are much more controlled and less sporadic along with the camera panning. After animating all of my mid-journey generated images using Pika Labs, I downloaded them and headed over to CapCut to upscale the resolutions. 
PKLabs is limited in the resolutions of the videos generated at 1024 by 576 pixels, so I upscaled them using CapCut's free AI video upscaler. Just create a free CapCut account, and then drag and drop your video into the AI upscaler. And you can increase the resolution all the way up to 2048 by 1152 pixels. It's easy to export and download the upscaled videos, and here's a before and after comparison. Currently, the default frame rate in PicaLabs is 24 frames per second. That's not bad on its own, but for some video clips, I wanted to extend the duration by slowing down the play speed, and the video becomes choppy, with the low frame rate clearly visible. To increase the frame rate, you can use the free Flow Frames AI Frame Interpolator. It's completely free to download and use, although you will need a Windows system and GPU. Once it's downloaded and installed, open up the software and inside the GUI, click on the Interpolate tab. Select the location of the video that you want to be upscaled and choose an output destination. Then choose the amount of interpolation you want to do. I upscaled my videos three times from the original 24 FPS all the way up to 72 FPS. Looking at the before and after videos, the difference is pretty clear. The interpolated video runs much more smoothly when slowed down. Now one of the key components of setting the tone and pacing of the trailer is the music and audio effects. Now I subscribe to Artlist to get all the audio for my videos. For sound effects, I search for weather like thunder and lightning to match my intro shot. And other effects like soldiers marching. For the final clip compilation, I looked for music that would give the Blade Runner vibe with the slow electronic synth wave style. I found this song by Jimmy Svensson and it sounds like it came straight out of Blade Runner. With all of my video and audio done, the last part was to put everything together in a video editor. I used CapCut and placed the video shots in chronological order that I had planned before. Then just add in the text and sound effects to the shots and adjust the length of my videos. A key part of editing is to sync your shot transitions with the audio beats. Looking back now, I would have added in some more story and text to the compilation of clips at the end of the trailer. I think that would have made it more cohesive. If you need a beginner guide to animating videos in Pika Labs, make sure to go check out my basics tutorial. And subscribe to stay updated on the latest features.